Wait, Terrium? Dude, Terrium right here! Ah! <laughs> Dude, that guy scared the crap out of me, man. Also, where's my other character? What is up, the world? What is up, the world? It is your friendly neighborhood sick gator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things. Back again, playing some more Satisfactory with the weirdest voice of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, I, it's not as bad as it sounds. It's not as bad as it sounds, man. Thanks for coming to hang out with me today, guys. Make sure if you have pity on me, please don't forget to show your support and smash the thumbs up button. Uh, if you're new and you have fun, subscribe. My voice isn't always like this. And uh, make sure you check us out on Twitter. Uh, wait, not Twitter, Twitch. Uh, for more streams of unbelievable and amazing stuff and things, five days a week, Monday through Friday, 5 to 9 p.m. I have <coughs> the weirdest voice ever right now. You guys know, I think I mentioned in the last video of Satisfactory, I was getting a little bit sick. Um, it was actually what I refer to as the Florida Super Flu. It is ridiculously debilitating, and uh, it's been really tough. It's been really, really hard and really, really gross. And uh, I've been doing my best. I took a couple of days off, and finally I was kind of like, you know what? I can't really take any more time off, man. I've got to really be there for my peeps. I got stuff and things to do. And even though I sound ridiculously bad, one, two, three, four. I think we need a couple more of these. Um, I actually don't feel ridiculously bad. Uh, five, six, I think like so. We need one, two, two, three, four, five. We only need five of these guys, actually, I think. Um, so yeah, I sound ridiculously bad. I'm not actually feeling that terrible. So yeah, thanks for all your well wishes, by the way, guys, on Twitter and uh, Instagram peeps and all that stuff. I really do appreciate it. It was really nice to you guys. Um, but yeah, we're on the men. And we're going to be doing stuff and things today. I have a few different things that I want to try to get done. We're going to see how much time we've got. First and foremost, I mean, I want to do a total redesign of this area right over here. We have our minor MK2s now. <clears throat> Pardon moi. Uh, over here, these guys are going to produce, it says 120 resources per minute. Um, on a higher level node like we have over here, these are pures. They're going to produce a lot more than that. I think that we can actually double our production um, in this area right here and utilize some of this extra iron for other stuff and things. But yeah, we've really got to, like, I want to take a, a, over the next couple of episodes of Satisfactory, I want to take the time to, like, really kind of, like, Go to the next level with this. And we and we really do. I've talked about that a couple of times. We've got to kind of take it to the next level if we want to get into really producing a lot of stuff and things. Uh, the best way to really go about moving some of this stuff out of the way is to go ahead and store all like so. And then you can pop up inside of these guys and then take all. Uh, come over here and unload your stuff. Um, awesome. I learned that there is a, uh, a different element in the game called, I think it's called Katerium. Um, and Katerium allows us to get a couple of cool upgrades. I think we might take a look at moving around somewhere today to find some Katerium and see if we can get those upgrades so we can have uh, magic shoes. Basically, from Forrest Gump, the magic shoes stuff and things. And like I said, redesigning this. I have a couple of tricks that I want to show you guys as far as how we're going to make this happen. Uh, store all these guys in there. Those guys can get trashed. Yeah, so I'm going to tear these down, and then I think we're actually going to go look for Katerium, and uh, then we're going to come back and do a redesign of these bad hombres, and I will be our beast peeps. Uh, the end of an era. Goodbye, all the things. It's over for you. Uh, yeah, we're tearing this whole bad boy down like so. It's gone. We don't need any of it. None of it. Not important. Wait, the power. We're going to have to hook the power back up. We do need the power. I take it all back. Pull all of this guy down, and we're going to do, like I said, a complete redesign on this guy. Whoa. Nope. Up the tractor. Complete redesign on this bad hombre. And we're going to make it better. Like, like I said, I'm pretty sure we can easily double um, our production. And I think we're going to start to go vertical, too. We've got to, like, expand, man. We've got to start making, like, a big deal. Big base deal. Big deal. Uh, so we're going to pop all this off. I'm going to leave. <clears throat> I'm going to leave the miners up. Because when we take those down, we're going to get miners from them we we have all of our power still going out don't we yeah so we're gonna leave the miners up for now because when we go ahead and take those down um we're gonna get portable miners from that and we're gonna need those to build the mk2s so i don't want to like do take those out now and then come back and then like put them away in a storage and then have to get them back out again so i'm gonna take care of some of this stuff a lot of this crapola 
I wish you could just do... Wait, if I control... Oh, it does. Oh, yeah, guys. I don't know if you knew that. Check this out, man. This is pretty freaking great. Oh, I can't do it here. Um, if you control drag an item, um, you can actually drag the entire stack. So, for instance, these guys, control drag, bam. We get the whole thing. Control drag, doink, it goes all the way over. And it looks like that it works for uh, throwing some of these away as well. Um, wait, pardon me. There we go. So, you can control drag all of that. Feels good, team. Uh, this storage isn't going to fit all the things. Let's drop that, drop that, drop that. You, you, you. Wait, 57. A hundo. That guy, this guy. That guy in there. Throw this guy away. All right, then we can go ahead and take all of that. Sweet. So, all tore down. <clears throat> all of our storage has been moved. Now, it's time to get our tractor and go out to find the Katerium. Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we got something in there. Let's check our gasoline before we head out. Two hundred, nailed it. Nice, maybe stop. So, ladies and gentlemen, Katarium. Now, uh, I'm gonna head directly to the Katarium because I know where the Katarium is. Um, if you do not, it is pretty hard to find. I've yet to actually find it just by stumbling upon it. Um, I've had some help in finding it. And uh, it's really important to get it because it unlocks some pretty amazing stuff and things. So you definitely want to uh, figure out where you're going to be going with this stuff. I'm going to try to explain to you where I'm going. So that was like near to the spawn area of the of the the medium difficulty map. And I think if we head down over this way along the river, we should get to it. I want to make sure I kind of... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I think it's right across here. I think. Get some bad hombres over here. Is there a river over here? Dude, hold on a second. Hot power slug action. Wait, Katerium? Dude, Katerium right here. Ah! Dude, that guy scared the crap out of me, man. Also, where's my other carapace? Oh, I think we got both of them. Hold on. We got this guy, too. Then this isn't where the Katerium was that I was thinking, but it is some right here. So, and it looks like it's a node of it. It says it's a pure node. Uh, wait. Do we bring portable miner? Crap! Uh, <clears throat> dude, my voice is so gross right now. Production. Uh, Whitman workstation. Portable miner. I think I have a couple back at the base. We're just going to build them real quick right here. Pop this guy off. So this is very close to where the uh, my base is right over that way if you want to find it. I think there might be another deposit up on top of there as well. I'm pretty sure. But this guy is really, really close. Uh, so we just go like so and then poop it down. Oh, dude, it won't let me. It won't let me. So it looks like I can... I mean, I could go like so and do like that with it and manually gather it, but I can't grab these portable miners. They won't fit on here. Let's go see if we can find that other deposit. Like I said, I think that that other one is right up on top of there. If there's a river over here, I know I'm on the right track. It might be over that way too. Pardon me, Ma. That might not be it. In fact, I do not believe that it is. Bring it on! Got what it takes? Nailed it, Ace the Camp. Piece of job. Alien carapace, alien carapace. What do you got for me over here, buddy? Copper wire, some circuit boards. What do you need? 30 megawatts. Production, biomass burner. Each one of these does what? 20, I think. Hold on. Let's grab some uh, stuff and things over here. We could probably just put some leaves in here. What are you doing, Slip Gator? Like so. Like so. Like so. Uh, bang. Yeah, 20 megawatts apiece. 
Bam! Hard drive action. He's done it. Grab that bad ombre. Feels like a good team. Let's go. And we're back. Um, <clears throat> all right. So I'm going to try to show you where this is. It's kind of weird. Once we get up here, maybe I'll describe it. Because there's no real, like, map coordinates or anything like that in the game yet. So we kind of just kind of figure it out as we go. Uh, how about... One of those. And one of these. That feels good. I think we got this. Some bad hombres up here, it sounds like. So this is the rock that you want to be on. That's the spawn area right over there. Uh, one of the ways that you can find this place... Well, you want to go... <clears throat> is if you go over like back behind here there's a waterfall if you go down to the bottom of that waterfall and you found and you face the waterfall you found it follow it counterclockwise follow that river around counterclockwise uh that river comes down over to here so you can kind of see that's where the area is there's a purple cave down here uh and that river comes right along the top here and then up on top of this guy here is the magic cafeterium i mean kate caterium or something or whatever it's called uh, okay. A little bit of an issue right there. Uh, oh, we got a little worm deal. What? I love you, worm deal. Uh, maybe we'll just go like this. Grab this power slug. Like a so. Feels good, team. Alright, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and build a little walkway up here for when we're doing stuff and things over in this area can we get a little foundational action perfect fish all right so we gotta fight these guys off to get to the node dude we lost power back at the base lol all right so we'll grab these two alien carapaces here the caterium iron or the caterium ore pardon me pure and now, wait, there we go, baby. Now we can get the portable miners on here. Oh, feels good, team. They're going to start extracting it. It kind of looks like it's gold. I think we're going to bring around 400 back with us. We should be able to get some research done that we need to do in order to get some of the cool unlocks with the Caterium stuff and things. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this stuff, and I will BRBs, peeps. So once you get the Caterium ore back to your base and you wait the 15 minutes for it to do its stuff and things, bam! It's new done technologies it. have new been technology. developed based on this new element, primarily in power and electronics, and can now be accessed in Hub Tier 3. Caterium technology, five inventory slots, Caterium ingots, quick wire, power pole MK2 can handle up to six connections, blade runners, and scanner or update. Bam, let's do this guy. So we're going to need, what, we need a thousand of those guys. We need a hundo and 25 and some rotors and bam, he's done it. All right, sweet. So Blade Runners are the biggest thing I want to show you guys. To new equipment, building and parts utilizing basic Caterium properties. R&D insisted on inflating your pocket dimension. Five new inventory spots, baby. We got to make some quick wire now. Dude, I don't even know where we can. Right there. So we're gonna have to make how much quick wire was it? A hundred. And the funny thing about the quick wire is that it, you can make it really fast. So I oh, actually only 50 quick wire. So let's pop down inside of here. Caterium ingots are what we're gonna need. We need one for one. So let's go ahead and make 50 of these guys. Oh wait, no, we're not gonna need that many. It's four for one. 36, 40, 44, 48, 52. And then watch this guys. The quick wire's quick. 52 already done. Nailed it, Ace. Can't be stopped. Now we pop over here like so. Blade Runners. Make these guys. And, oh, yeah. It's going to be unbelievable and amazing. Now, the the um, description of these guys, the exoskeleton for your lower legs that assists your movement, allowing you to sprint faster, jump higher, also dampens the impact of landing. So, I'm kind of bummed out. It looked like it went to show me, but I don't think my mom body. Wait, is it? Oh, wait, wait. Shift. R. There we go. The ragdoll deal. <laughs> so you actually, <laughs> you actually can't see them on your body. If you hold Control Shift R, you can do a little ragdoll. It's pretty cool. Um, so you can't see them on your body. I will say I'm pretty disappointed that you can't equip like your parachute and your Blade Runners and your, you know, when we get like the the air filter, we can't do them all at the same time. It seems like it's kind of weird that you can't. As you progress and get more upgrades for your character, like, have all of your upgrades on. 
Uh, but check it out, guys. It, you, I don't know if you can tell the difference between the running speed, but the jumping is pretty unbelievable and amazing. You can jump up, I mean, really high. Uh, you can jump up a full foundation now. So if we were to, like, one of these, like so, I'm pretty sure, yeah, you can jump up a full foundation, which is really helpful. Like, it's really going to be easy to move around this way, a lot easier to, to move around. Now, it did say that it dampens fall damage. Uh, let's grab some berries here. I'm gonna get full health, and then I wanna go ahead and put some of this Katerium away. Do we have enough room right here? We can squirt all that in there like so. Alright, so yeah, we're supposed to be able to take less fall damage now, but I really don't know how good it's gonna be. Let's go ahead and jump up to the, let's get up to the top of this and check this out and see how this is gonna work out for us. Dude, you have no power. Oh, that's right. We ran out of power. Dude, I wonder why we ran out of power. Let's pop up here. We've got to go up here anyway to check out our power situation. We don't have our jump pad deals anymore. I wonder why. Everything was running great for such a long time. It's almost like we ran out of coal, maybe? Yeah, we had a huge dip. We had some dips in power production. That must have been from a lack of coal. Now that we've had um, a little bit of time off from producing stuff, there should be 100 in each one of these guys. But it looks like we're definitely going to need to get some more power production online. And we're absolutely, I've talked about it before in previous episodes, going to have to get some better belts moving out from our, uh, our coal mine and bringing that all the way back to our base over here. So, all right, let's check out our, our uh, Caterium uh, stuff and things here. Let's just jump off of here and see what kind of damage do we take for this fall. It says reduced damage. Ow! Oh my god! I guess it is a little bit reduced? Not as much as I thought. I mean, that was pretty high, but still. Alright, so it's not like a godlike reduction amount. We're gonna wait until we regain three bars before we start eating our berry. Um, yeah, I guess it's not that much of an improvement. So we're gonna have to be a little bit careful with that. Alright. Hot berry action in our mouths. Let's go team. So I was talking to you guys before about increasing um, our production of stuff and things over in this area here. And I'm ready to do that. Do we have anything inside of there? Pop this guy off. Let's go ahead and pull these guys down, man. This MK miner and this one right here. Now, previously, we had placed these on foundations to make them look super great, unbelievable, and amazing. You know what? It's a huge pain in the nuts. I'm going to pop these foundations off here. Like so. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and move over this way too and pop these off as well. I don't think it's important. <clears throat> like it looks it looks kind of cool, but not necessarily a big deal. Uh, we can pull this power pole down. We'll pull all these guys down as well. Over there like that. Pull maybe this power pole down here. And then can we just run a line like from here to there? He's done it. Uh, you know what? Hold on a second here. Let's pop that off. Let's put a power pole back over here. All right. So now power will be moved over in that area. So uh, I'm K2 miners. This guy here can't afford need steel um, pipes. We could pop over here and grab some of those guys. And while we're doing that, we could just check and see. Most likely, the reason that this all shut down over here is because um, I had increased some production. Um, by using some overclockers over here, and maybe it was using enough coal. No, that doesn't make any sense. The coal lines are split. Eh, who knows? It's a mystery. All right, so these MK2 miners over here, and then we're going to take a look and see how much production we're going to get out of these guys. Also, I want to see, can I place this guy? Mm. So if we place him that way, it's going to kind of like... Mm. You know what that means? I feel like we got to go back another one of these guys. That makes me feel like we don't have enough room. That makes me feel like we don't have enough room for a space elevator, too. That guy might need to get moved as well. Um, all right. So, anyway, MK2 miners here and here. Let's take a look at the production of these guys. Well, once we get some power online. We'll put another power pole right there. Bring power out like this. All right, guys. So, these are producing 240 ore per minute. All right. So, that means we are going to have to use our MK3 belt. To bring this up and out. Uh, can we? Why do you hate me, game? Well, let's try one of these guys. Like so. Alright. You're fine. And then like this. 
Okay, you're fine. What's the problem? All right, let's go ahead and grab this guy over here. Bring him up into or that of these like area. So, uh, 240 per minute, 860, 24. If we split this one time, it's going to be into uh, 80s. So, we're going to get 80 or per minute out of it. So, in order to do that, I'm feeling like 80 or per minute. And then we can split that down again. And then that would give us, what, 12? If we go two into six. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we could go two into six and then six into 12. Um, and then that would give us a lot more smelting. I think over here before we only had like four smelters running or maybe even up to six smelters running. But I think we can get up to 12 of these guys going this time. Like I said, I think the space elevator's got to go, man. We got to move this guy. And I think we can place it just about anywhere. Look at it tearing down. Goodbye, space elevator. You're so unbelievable and amazing, but it'll be really easy to place it back again somewhere else. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Do we have like, I mean, I don't even know. Right over here wouldn't be a bad spot if it would actually place like nicely on the ground there. Maybe we got to like open this area up right here. Um, but yeah, so over here, let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick. Logistics, we need a splitter. Uh, let's face it over like this way and then line that bad ombre up like that. Uh, what the hell? That was weird. All right, so we're going to place this down like, let's say, right, right here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to shift click it, I don't think. I think if we shift click it, if we don't shift click it, it might be a little bit easier. Place one of those guys right over here, and then place one of these guys right over here. We're going to take our MK3 belts and hook those up to here like so and like so. Now, what I want to do next is I want to do a stack of splitters. So I want to bring three lines out of here and then split those into... I'm going to need three splitters to make it happen, but it'll only be splitting into six different lines. So we'll have 80 coming out of each one, and that'll bring it down to 40. So we'll have 40 on each line past here. Now, this is going to be a little bit tricky. I'm going to show you how we're going to do this here. Uh, we're going to need to... Well, it kind of sucks we built that in that way. Uh, let's do it right over here. And I think I'm going to have to kind of go like something like that. And what we're going to do up here is we are going to grab this, grab our splitter again. That's in line with the other splitter that we have. And hopefully it's at the right angle. So if we were to place this guy down here like this, and then we remove these guys, right? Um, I do believe we're also going to have to place all of our smelters out here too. Because the trick is going to be, here's our smelter like so. The trick is going to be, let's go one, two, do one on each foundation here. Three, four. Five, six, seven. Oh no, maybe this is too big. Eight. Dude, that's only nine right there. We want to go. We want to go to twelve. What are you kidding me, Slipgator? And I don't think we have enough space right there either. But the trick that that you have to deal with this. Well, here's what we're gonna be doing. So the next order of business um, is that we would go like this. If we would come over here at our foundations. We'd go with a smaller one. Then we can place another splitter. Right underneath this one and it should line up right like that for instance the trouble is if you place the one underneath and then you try i do believe to hook these guys up it'll say encroaching on clearance now i should be able to hook this one up no problem but this one won't hook up because we're encroaching on clearance if we pop this guy off and then we do this bam we can do it so we've got to make sure that we have everything set up and we hook up the, the tallest splitter first in our little splitter chain going down then once our splitter chain, the top one's hooked up, we can add another splitter here, remove this. Then we can add another splitter here. And uh, as long as you don't hold, well, we've got that one frigged up a little bit. But as long as you don't hold control uh, to line it up like kind of at a weird angle and you just let it snap naturally, it should line these up perfect. So there'll be a perfect little upward deal there. Um, I think we're gonna have to space these out a little bit closer together to make this all fit here. So I'm gonna work on that. Then I'm going to connect all of these guys up and maybe start doing the other one with you guys. And I will be our bees, peeps.
And we're back. All right, guys. So I got this set up kind of sort of just lined up with this splitter to that splitter. Um, I disconnected the line right here just uh, so we don't have stuff piping all around right now. But this is kind of how the little spaghetti comes out. Looks pretty cool. So here you can see this way we're splitting down uh, 240 ore per minute into or 240 ore per conveyor down to 80 per conveyor down to 40 per conveyor. And then these guys, when we set them up, Go ahead and make ingots they're gonna need 30 ore per minute and we can overclock them if we'd like um but yeah i think like i said before i think we had like six smelters on this is gonna be double the production value um the thing that we have a little bit of a weird problem with is that this is a little bit off uh if i was to put this guy right over here so i don't know how that's really gonna work i think we're gonna have to move this over a little bit so how do we actually end up placing this one it's one two three kind of in front of the fourth one so let's try that over here let's go like so conveyor splitter kind of in front of the fourth one uh like that can we get this in line over here maybe like so kind of like there uh but what we're gonna have to do let's see if it'll actually do this for us so let's uh go in here under five place that guy like this pop up here now if we take our splitter will it still line up it will looks good like so like so uh this guy we might have to probably move over a little bit like this put a splitter over here and then can we get that lined up with that and then will this just automatically are you freaking gonna be great mm -hmm. perfect nailed an ace game stop all right so over here we'll need mk2s and we're gonna go ahead and set this guy for our center and then I'm going to set the top one to over here, the furthest away. We only need MK1 lines for this guy, like so and like so. Now underneath here, we go into our foundations, that guy. Uh, then we go into our logistics, another splitter. And we need it to be lined up. It's kind of hard to see what I'm doing here. I think that's good. Oh yeah, perfecto. Grab this guy, we'll get a level two deal over here like so. And then level one deal. We'll pipe that guy into there and that guy into there like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and do it one more time. Like so, get our level two guy into there and then pop over here. Level one guys into there into there dude we've done it next thing we had to do is just set up power and hook this bad ombre up all right ladies and gentlemen we're ready to unleash the base uh mk3 belts like so mk3 belt like a so Let's go ahead and watch this happen man i want to see all the stuff and things start coming through getting split three ways up into here bam checking it out splitting into the spaghetti six ways anybody there it goes there it goes baby getting split up over in that area over there so this little setup here is going to be able to produce what <clears throat> without any overclockers 360 or wait what no why do you hate me game it's a terrible disaster i can't even believe it at least all the ore is still pumping in there dude what happened do we have another power drop dude it spiked over 250 megawatts what yeah. i doubled our coal power plant production stuff and things no 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 don't don't, where are you? Give me this back. Give me that back. Give me this back. Come on, dude. Right there. Right there. Now, up inside of here. No connection. What are you about? Bam! 500 megawatts of power, ladies and gentle peeps. So, I'm not actually sure this is going to work, but I went ahead and built another or a ceiling area right over where we have our five plants. Um, one of the things I gotta figure out here is how much coal this even uses. I think it's one every 5.4 seconds. So, <coughs> yeah, I'm surprised it doesn't tell us really what our consumption of coal is going to be for each one of these deals. And I can figure that out. I think I can do the maths, but I don't think I can run 10 coal plants off of one mk1 line the one mk1 line is going to give us 60 coal per minute so that would mean that each one of these needs to use six per minute i don't think that's the case i mean you can see here i think it's 5.4 seconds 
So it's more than six. Um, or it's yeah. So it's um, it's not going to be enough. Um, I think that we're going to be able to run maybe eight of these um, off of this one. But I do believe now we should have enough power since doubling it to do stuff and things. I built another vertical item conveyor right here. I added in the ceiling, like I said, a bunch more of the plants like so. Dude, it looks freaking epic, unbelievable and amazing. I'm glad we expanded the power system here, dudes. It looks really, really cool. Hold on, we gotta, come on, man. Let's take a sexy screenshot of that. Oh, it looks good. Oh yeah. Wish this big rock wasn't in our way. I'm trying to show off the sexy friggin' deal, man. <laughs> the sexy base. Look at that thing. Double the power, double the fun. Very, very cool. But that's going to be it for today, guys. I have to go rest my voice. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me for another episode of Satisfactory. I hope that you had a blast. Make sure if you did, please don't forget to show your support. Oh, you're kidding me. Smash the thumbs up button. Remember today, we doubled our production of iron ingots. We doubled our production of power. We now got the uh, slick shoes, uh, blade runners stuff and things and research the Katarium ore. It looks really good. I'm glad that we did it. I hope you had fun hanging out. If you did, I already did that part. I'm sick still. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Check us out on Twitch Monday through Friday, 5 to 9. And special shouts to everybody over at Patreon.com who helps to support the channel. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to go drink some tea with honey. I made the stuff and things. Be with you!